get into you know as we proceed to give you what you need thank you uh and get into 2024 2025 you know i i hope we can you know st- as 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 a subjective kind of person i am we just get away from from all of this you know highfalutin <laughs> Shit, that just doesn't make any sense, and there's no <laughs> nothing to back it up, data wise. Um, I have had this string of emails with this guy Carlos. Right, he has been freaking out, not freaking out, but he has been going back and forth with me. He's like, something's wrong with your file. I'm like, I don't think so, man. I don't think something's wrong with the file. So finally, he got down to it. Basically, anytime there was a side surround left or right sound, it was. It was being imaged between his front speakers and his side and his surround speakers for some reason. And he found out finally, after a bunch of emails back and forth with the manufacturers, they he he missed an update and his shit's been wrong for like two years. Oh wow. And this is what I'm talking about. This is yeah, what, what, can we say the brand? Like what was I gotta find the email. Hold on. Like what if other people are having that issue and they dude. I'm gonna make a video about it. Okay. So All right. But, so uh, you want to save it? Yeah. I uh, wait. Here it is. Not. I was totally wrong. His name is Ricardo. Oh man, I'm fucked. Ricardo Carlos. <laughs> Ricardo. Ricardo. Carlos. Carlos. Ricky Ricardo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we're such assholes. I love it. Um. Uh. Me? You're the one yeah. Like me. Yeah. Sorry. It's just me. Um. Like uh, um, I, he says, I imagine most AV receivers are already updated with this, uh, provided the OEM release this update. Otherwise, they're in the previous iteration of Dolby Atmos decoding, like the Sony one that I have. So, oh, it was a Sony one. Crazy. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, because like he he kept messaging me. I'm like, man, I don't. I, don't, I started. I was like, I don't know if I can help this guy. Mm. <laughs> you know, if he keeps saying that, like it's 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 the disc or the file and it just it just it just isn't and so that's what i'm talking about and let's let me try to land the damn plane here i think that's what's awesome about the spatial audio calibration toolkit though is it's set like we know what it does we've had lots of people testing it out we know what it does so it's kind of like if there's an issue it's probably not the disc (laughs) well this this is what i'm trying to get into and land the plane thanks joe for the mm-hmm. assist there uh, got, with the, you got things like the clipple. We got, we now we know what the AVR is supposed to do. We know we now have a way to test it with our toolkit. We have, you know, clipple to actually show us what these, you know, speakers can do on a, you know, measurement kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And I, I, you know, I just, even though, even though Joe, you remember, I'm like, ah, I don't want to take any measurements. Now I'm like, Oh, what, how do I do this? Oh, this is easy. Yeah. You know, and I'm I'm all in there doing it. I know if yeah. my dumbass can figure it out, you guys can easily do it. it. I think it's about closing that circle of confusion, right? Like circle, circle of, of confusion. confusion. Is that a song or is that That's closing a, time? No, it's like land of confusion. Land of, oh, the Genesis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a circle of confusion. Keep, keep going, you, bro. Yeah. yeah. So, circle of confusion just basically says like. Well, we don't know what the source is, right? We don't know what they recorded it on. We don't know how it's supposed to sound like. So if you use that as your test, well, we don't know if we, there's so much that we don't know, right? Sure. Well, I think by measuring the speakers, right? We know what the mics do because we can measure those. We, you and I, we know what the the test tones are doing because we made them. (laughs) We made the test tones and it's not like we're doing anything artistic with this uh, toolkit, they're just straight up like we're playing pink noise. It's not artistic. The computer generated it, and we know exactly how it's supposed to look. Um, so it's just closing the circle of confusion. And I think that's what we're trying. What I'm trying to do with Magic Beans also is like give you an accurate response from your speakers. All right. So I'm not. I'm not doing anything artistic. I'm trying to make the speaker sound as good as possible when it comes to accuracy. You know. So. We'll get into that in a bit. And I think what, Aaron, I think what I, I like that you're doing is you start off just doing straight up like measurements, right? That's kind of your, that was your thing. But it yeah. seems like you're trying to marry the two of uh, objective and what do yeah. you, what do you hear? Mm-hmm. Do measurements. Yeah. 
So now okay. you're you have this thing where you can just listen and you're you're comparing it just based on your you're measuring with your ears. Yeah. And how does that how does that compare to the actual measurements? So it's just connecting things. I think that's where it's at, you know. Yeah. Relating yeah. things to each other. For sure. Um and it's no, fun. No nothing says the problem that Chana just described about the Sony. I really think my denon does that. You know? And 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 for all of the, just imagine that for all of these years we just kind of had to believe that it was working right from 2014 to 2024. But you know now Joe and I created the spatial toolkit. Um, all right, if you would like to join us every week on Mondays at what time is it? About 6 p.m. Central, which is the best time. That's where I am. Make sure you join us at YouTube.com/slash Daily Hafa. We out. <laughs> <laughs>